Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Let's talk about the dangers of eating once a day or even twice a day and especially also skipping breakfast. This is due to a research study that I actually saw in Japan. Super interesting because they do a lot of research studies over there that I've never seen in America. In this one, I used to try to do the eating once a day or eating twice a day thinking that it was really healthy and that's not really where the benefit's at. The real benefit is just not eating after a certain hour. You don't wanna eat really after 6.30 p.m. or 7 p.m. You really wanna stop eating because your body's shutting down. You do not wanna eat late at night. This is where your body doesn't metabolize things properly. You end up gaining weight. It's just not good for your health. The other problem is, is skipping breakfast. The Japanese found that if you skip breakfast, when you eat later, you're gonna get not only a sugar spike, it's something they actually call a killer sugar spike. It's not good. It does appear that it eventually will lead to diabetes if you're doing the one meal a day, if you're skipping breakfast. This is not what you wanna be doing. Ideally, you want three meals a day. And you can have light meals, but as long as you have something to eat. The other super interesting key point that they discovered was that if you eat a raw vegetable first thing in the morning, if like for breakfast, you eat that before you even eat your normal breakfast, it will actually cause a buffering effect where it will actually regulate, help your body regulate uh, blood sugars in your blood and does not allow you to have these crazy killer spikes. And it'll last for the whole day. And so the next day you'd have to eat the raw vegetables again. This was really, really interesting. So I used to do a lot of the two meals a day or the one meal a day, but now what I've done to adapt it based on this scientific evidence is that yes, I'll have my morning smoothie, a lot of raw vegetables in there. And of course it has some fruits in it too. And then mid of the middle part of the day where I used to not eat anything, I'll save a little smoothie and I'll put something in my body. That way my body knows that something's coming in, it's gonna utilize it, it's not gonna try to store things because I'm not getting enough you know, food or something. And then of course I'll have my healthy dinner at the end of the day and that's it. And that appears to be the most ideal way of doing it. I thought I'd share with you guys because I know that there's a lot of people out there trying to do the one meal thing and they don't really have that data here in the US. And when I saw it in Japan, I thought people need to know this. It's really, really interesting. I wish somebody would have told me when I was doing my one meal a day or my two meals a day because there is obviously benefits when it comes to fasting. And I think the best way to do it is again, you stop eating again, maybe 6.30 p.m., 7 p.m and you don't eat for maybe 12, 14 hours and there you get a nice fast and it's throughout the night when your body's resting and that appears to be ideal. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and share with others if you think they'll find it helpful. All right guys, we'll see you next time on the next video.